I, I was struck by the idea of, you know, marking a place. What does it mean, marking a place? But also showing a direction. And I immediately sort of drew the kind of spiral that, that really is centering a sort of a, a plus sign that, that you are there, you've arrived. But also a direction in space along that route that could inform you also uh, in space and in time where on this route you are. And so I immediately had this sense of a vector, which is a pointer, uh, like in a compass or like something in your mind that, that points to the importance of where you are. Uh, I designed them as a family of vectors which can be related to a particular story which is being told. And I think people who will walk around or explore that route will see the variety uh, in their own minds uh, forming a, a trail of information and of, of ex uh, uh, and of emotions as they uh, discover where they are. Well, the 3.5 meter monument is, is a dramatic, it's, it's really a pointer, a vector, but it's also a sculpture, it has its presence uh, in, in the place in which it is located because it's speaking about something very important. It's not about itself, it's really pointing to those bunkers. It's pointing in that landscape, which might be very idyllic, to something dramatic and where lives were lost, where people fought bloody battles. I mean, the smaller vector, which is really almost like a plaque, metallic plaque, which is attached, it also has an important presence. It might be on a, on a building or on a really anonymous place that is not really featured, but suddenly make that place come to light. Well, this one is like a, almost like a pebble you, you notice on the ground. Just because it's smaller, it's not any less important or less effective. It's just that it plays a different role. And I think stumbling upon or finding or discovering this on the ground might have a very big sort of value for the person who discovers it and bends over to see what it represents. So again, uh, there is almost a ritual in discovery of these objects. They are not uh, just one, of, one and the same and just a, a formula. Each one has its own set, set of gestures associated. Each one has its different scale, different human emotion and a variety that I think is necessary to co communicate what history is. First of all, I want to salute the liberators. I mean, that's something very touching that there are still people who not only remember, but who sacrifice their lives, put them at risk of death to liberate others. That's not something to be taken for granted. And of course, the, the, the statement, the message of liberation is to thank people who are involved also in creating that history, that topography of memory that can bring us to the future. So to me, the, liberate, the, the, the markers, the whole idea of liberation route is not about the past. It, it, it speaks about the past, but it's a road to the future. And in that sense, I admire everybody who has been involved, who made it possible, who funded it, who worked on it, and who will be the recipients of this.